The Amazing Power of the Open Third Eye Everything in existence is connected by a non-physical plane that is oftentimes referred to as the astral plane. This astral plane connects everything, contains unlimited information and inspiration, and it is also referred to some as source. Through our pineal gland, which is a seat of consciousness, often referred to as the third eye, humans have the power to connect with the source. This is the source of all extrasensory perception. A famous quote from Nikola Tesla is, My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we attain strength and inspiration. I have not penetrated the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. Another quote by Nikola Tesla is, Our entire biological system, the brain, and the earth itself work on the same frequencies. The electromagnetic atmospheric resonance of earth is 7.83 Hz with several overtone frequencies. As life evolved over billions of years on Earth, it did so immersed within these natural frequencies. These frequencies are called the Schumann resonances. It's not one specific frequency, but rather a sweep of plus or minus about 5 Hz because there is some variation within the frequencies that's caused by the magnetosphere, atmospheric factors, tides, and even the time of the day. The Schumann resonances were documented in 1952 by a physicist named Winfred Otto Schumann. In India, 7.83 Hz is also referred to as Om. This is the most powerful of all mantras and it embodies the essence of the entire universe. These frequencies are the connection in which your mind can receive knowledge and inspiration using your pineal gland as a receiver from the source. This is the source of all information that exists within multiple dimensions. The universe is holographic in nature. When we start to examine particles at a subatomic particle level, we see that it's 99.9999999% empty. And that empty space is only filled with electron waves. Everything in existence is made up of energetic waves vibrating at different frequencies. Source can be seen as a hard drive behind what we experience as our reality. Our reality is nothing more than our brain interpreting the electronic pulses of the neurons. All the information in the universe can be reached from within. Time, space, everything in existence is connected and entangled in amazing ways. Again, the Schumann resonances of the Earth are the same frequencies as the proper brain waves used to receive extrasensory perception. In fact, 7.83 Hz is perfectly right in between alpha wave and theta wave. Extrasensory perception exists in many different forms and can be achieved by meditation. Brainwave meditation is the quickest and most effective path. When listening to brainwave entrainment, the neurons within the brain, which communicate via electric pulses, match the outside stimuli of the brainwave entrainment frequencies, thus tuning your brain, which again acts like a receiver, into the proper zone. With brainwave entrainment, even people without any experience in meditation can reach the deepest zones of meditation upon their first try. It's good to constantly keep the frequencies changing slightly to replicate nature. It doesn't take much. The singing of the birds in the morning affects the way the plants absorb the morning dew. That's how closely nature is connected to frequencies. Another example is cymatics. Look at how frequency affects water, and then think about how much of the human body consists of water. One of the greatest types of pollution that we don't see is electromagnetic frequencies, which are caused by power grids, smart meters, cell phones, Wi-Fi, computers, cell phone towers, etc. The electromagnetic frequencies interfere with our natural connection to the Earth, keeping us in an artificial electromagnetic field. This is the reason why the most effective brainwave entrainment emulates natural frequencies of the Earth without the EMF pollution. If we were in an environment free of all the EMF pollution and free of all the toxins that build up in our system from the chemicals in the food and the water fluoridation, Opening the third eye would be natural. It's the artificial environment that causes us the trouble. By decalcifying your pineal gland, and after a few weeks of brainwave entrainment meditation, you will be able to reach the same deep meditative states without even having to use brainwave entrainment.
With time and practice, you'll be able to close your eyes, sit in silence, and reach the same deep brainwave zones that enable you to access this core of infinite knowledge. Realizing the true nature of our reality is the awakening. You'll start to notice many amazing connections within your life. Everything will start to fit together naturally. You will start to examine things closer, and you'll start to see how everything is truly connected. Another great benefit is the ability to overcome a lot of harmful vices that hold so many of us back from achieving higher consciousness. This includes poor diet, not exercising, and all the drugs that are so common with modern day society. Opening the third eye is simply enhancing your gut instinct, your ability to discern and receive the truth. Meditation is a very effective way of stimulating the pineal gland and achieving elevated consciousness. So now I'll talk a little bit about the process you go through when you first start to open your third eye. In the very beginning, within the first 20 minutes of the brainwave meditation, you will feel a very light sensation of pressure in the location of your brow chakra. This is the first sign that your pineal gland is beginning to be stimulated. If you follow the steps from the video, how to decalcify the pineal gland and follow the decalcification process, the pineal gland stimulation will work instantly within the first meditation. If your pineal gland is completely calcified, you will be able to feel the effects very slightly, but only a small percentage of what you should be able to experience. This is why you want to make sure that you decalcify your pineal gland and remove the toxins. The pineal gland stimulation can be thought almost like an exercise within the brain. With each session, the meditations will become stronger and you will reach deeper levels of extrasensory perception. In fact, after a couple months, you should be able to reach the same levels of extrasensory perception without even having to listen to the brainwave entrainment as I mentioned earlier. This is what monks are able to do, and like anything worth learning, it does take practice. The slight pressure within the brow chakra after about a week or two will disappear. Once the meditation becomes deeper, the next effect you will notice is the ability to see what looks like dark energy. This dark energy looks kind of like moving shadows. Sometimes the energy appears to be clear as well. And what this energy is, I haven't exactly figured that out yet. It could be spirits, it could be hallucinations, but it's something that happens within this specific frequency range. And if you stop meditating, it goes away after a day or two. When I'm creating these brainwave meditations, Sometimes I'm exposed to the frequencies for 7-8 hours a day, so I can see the effects to the extreme. I'm not too sure how many people experience this phenomenon, but like I said, if I take a break for a few days, it goes away. Another thing I found is that if you're immersed in warm water in a semi-dark room while listening to the brainwave meditation, the water greatly enhances the meditation. I used to have a hot tub in the studio, and I used to play back the meditations and when I was listening to the third eye opening meditation while laying in the hot tub, that's when I first saw the energy form over me and it formed into a geographic pattern. It was about four feet in front of my face and about six feet wide. Another thing I see often when I'm producing the meditations is what appears to be spirits in my peripheral vision. And sometimes it moves from the peripheral vision into plain focus. So this ability to see this energy, or whatever it is, is kind of one of the side effects of brainwave entrainment, of opening the third eye. Some people also claim that they hear voices as well during the meditation, but I haven't experienced this personally. I'm currently researching why water enhances the meditation to the degree that it does. There is amazing power within water. And now I'll talk about the amazing benefits of opening the third eye you will start to form a more spiritual connection. When your third eye is open, you'll have amazing levels of creativity, intuition, psychic ability, because after all, this is the connection to the core of all knowledge and inspiration, the gateway between reality and the spirit world. This is used for astral projection, remote viewing, which is traveling out of body to far off places through the power of thought, and accessing knowledge from the astral plane. With this power, the future can even be predicted, but it seems to come in flashes or in dreams, and it's very hard for most people to control. You'll be able to read people quicker and deeper than you ever thought imaginable, almost on a level of telepathy. You will start to just know certain things without even knowing how, 
and you will trust your gut instinct and intuition a lot more. Information will just come to you in perfect order without you even knowing how. You will begin to trust your gut instinct and your intuition a lot more. You will be far more conscious of your exercising and your diet and your health should greatly improve because of this. You will start to see the truth and have the discernment to see the truth. You will start to see right through the brainwashing of the control system. You'll start to see just how fake everything in the artificial reality really is. You'll start to feel more connected with nature and all forms of life and you'll be able to see how connected everything is. Opening the third eye is essential for artists, musicians, writers, and anybody in the creative arts. Our pineal gland is located in the base of our brain and it's a natural part of the body. It's not supposed to be calcified. The reason why the majority of the population have a calcified pineal gland is because there is a control system that is actively suppressing the population to a lower consciousness on a massive scale. It's known by the people in the control system that the fluoride in the water, for example, lowers IQ in children and they don't even care. They poison the water supply. In this world, we have people who follow the path of righteousness and they do everything they can to help and empower mankind. And then we have those who sell out and they do what they can to suppress the people for their own benefit. Opening your third eye is simply the doorway to higher consciousness in which you can receive great information from multiple dimensions. If we all follow the universal love energy and helped each other to expand our consciousness, this world would be a great place. Many people today are living life inside of an artificially induced control trance. Transcending vibrations and pineal wave meditation is here to empower you and help you reach your absolute full potential and expand your consciousness. I'd like to finish by thanking everybody who takes the time to visit this channel and also thank you to everybody who's ever purchased an album from Transcending Vibrations or from Pineal Wave. Your purchase helps us grow and it's greatly appreciated. We have two channels on YouTube, Transcending Vibrations and Pineal Wave. We're also on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, and our main pages are on Bandcamp. The links are all in the description. A Patreon account has been added recently. For anybody who would like to be a monthly supporter for as little as $1 a month and receive extra content, please feel free to rate this video and leave a comment. We appreciate everything that you have to offer. Thank you so much for listening. Much love.